few weeks ago to raise money for a cha EV charity. And uh, you know, Nicky, I'm not going to tell you how much, but he put a sizable amount of uh, donation into the charity, which I thought was really good. It's not very often you, you get that happen from guys, you know, in the fight gang. And he, uh, he, he, I, I'm sort of really respected for that. He's, he's not, and you know, a lot he's saying now, he puts a lot back into it. He's not just a taker, he, he gives a bit. And he's, uh, and so he's out there helping the kids. And I think he's doing it as well, isn't he, Kenny? Yeah. He's been in there. It's, it's a good thing going on in East London with all the kids at home, in the schools with the, you know, a couple of the guys going in and working with them. What were you like at school, Nicky? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> what was Nicky like at school? He was a reformer. Not too clever. <laughs> I wonder if it could be a rocket scientist, just put it away. <laughs> you see, um, the future progression, obviously, you've got to look ahead to December, but would you like to go out and fight in the States and all that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, everyone wants to end up uh, with the main fights in America and the States, like Head and Bill, like Ricky Out and Biff. Yeah, that's what time we'll be looking for. But um, if we can get the top fights still in England and, and in London, then why not keep the, leave it in London? You guys are the same money, then just leave it in London. I don't, it don't really bother me, but obviously I'd like to be there. Frank, do you think you can go to America and... Yeah, I'm sure you can, you know. It's the, in fact, we had a, an offer, of, is it from uh, Rocky Juarez? Juarez. Yeah, they, they talked about a goal boy about making that fight, but obviously, He's going to get his mandatory, so he's going to get this fight out of the way, then he's probably get his mandatory after that, so he's, you know, Nick is, uh, you know, he's going to be quite busy over the next few months. So it's some good fights out, it's a very exciting division. Uh, you know, some, some quality fights. Would you like to fight two or four times a year? Or? Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm looking to be doing. He's going to keep busy, yeah, and I'm sure Frank promised it, and I'm sure Frank would have maybe shown and I'll be on it then. So what, who is the mandatory? Sorry? Who is the mandatory? What's his name? Lure. Not Nirvana. No. My brain's gone on my face. Martinez, Roman Martinez. I think you're right. He's Paul Regan. Yeah, Paul Regan. Frank Courtney Harrison's on the card. What's the plan with him? Well, you know, it's a postponed fight. You know, the plan for him you know, is he's got to get in, get in there and uh, convince the public again and again. Um, it's up to him, you know. This is, I mean, you know, he's got to go out there and make a statement. There's, he's got to do it this time because if he doesn't, it's all over. I mean, it well and truly will be over, as far as I'm concerned, it'll be over. So it's up to him to go out and look good. He's fighting a guy who's undefeated, who comes to fight. He's a tough guy, um, you know, smaller than Audley, but so was the last opponent and gave him lots of uh, lots to think about. So hopefully, he comes up looking a bit more positive. What do you think he's got to do to win the public over because they've just... Go out and fight. Go out and, and give, them, give them a, a performance that they can look at and see what he's capable of doing. And he's, you know, for whatever reasons, it doesn't matter what, you know, whether, what goes on behind the scenes. The fact is he hasn't done that for a while and he needs to do that. He needs to do it. You know, he, can't, he can't go into this fight now saying, been out the ring for a while, he needs a warm up fight, you know, he's just had a fight, so the onus is well and truly on him to perform. Well, he's had two this year, aren't he, sir? Yeah, so he's not going to do the business. Would that be the end for you if he comes back again? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do my best, but uh, I'm not a magician. He's got to go and, he's actually got to go and. Be be because the last fight was postponed, were you committed to it, really? Um, yeah, we were. I mean, you know, Rogan's fault is, is what happened, so you know, we're, we're contracted to do it. And, you know, it, it should be an entertaining fight, because he's not going to take a backward step. But you know what? I'm, I'm excited about him on the card. Uh, Derek Chisora. I think he, I, I think he is going to turn into a decent British, if you know, a, a, a decent heavyweight. Yeah, he, 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 wanted a, he said to me that he wanted to fight Harrison, forget putting Rogan in, and it's not promotional crap, he wanted to fight. And uh, it, it doesn't, you know, he's, uh, he's one of those few fighters at this stage of his career just says, I'll, I'll, I'll fight him. You know, get me Danny Williams, get me this one, I want, I want to do it. And I bet if he made the fight tomorrow, he would. And I think within a couple of fights, I don't know, he's going to be fighting for a British title, even though he's only you know, about eight. So about nine or ten five points.
Sorry? Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, give him, give him about another four or five fights, yeah. He's a big guy, he's, he can punch, he's got a good chin. He can whack, there's no doubt about that. He's a bit more schooling, yeah. Frank, similar question, different fighter. What does Amir Khan need to do to win over the British public? Well, I think, you know, he needs to come back, and he needs to come back in style. He's got, you know, we all know what, what he's good at doing, and we know what, um, you know, what, what he, you know, what he's not been, not, what, he's, what he's not been focusing on. And most, most of that's been head movement, it's been, it's been uh, you know, he's, he's, he's impetuous, he jumps in, he rushes in rather than, you know, thinking about what he, he should be doing. And hopefully that's what the schooling he's going to get whilst he's out in the state with Freddie Roach. He's training with some uh, good fighters out there. And again, we'll see what, what, what he's got when he comes back. He might that he got moved by South. I don't know, maybe it's because, it, I don't think it's, I think maybe because it was over so quick. You know, I don't think it's, you know, when you hear that stuff. And you've got to remember, there, there's, there's a little bit of, um, there's a, you know, some of the crowd don't like him because they're there supporting other boxers who are in his way division. It happened with Kevin, didn't it, when he fought down there, some of Kevin's fans. Yeah. booed him because he was at that time it looked like Kevin Mitchell and him were gonna fight. But he's gotta learn from, he's gotta learn from you know from, from all the policy fights. He's got to learn from what you know Nicky did. Nicky had a perfect record, come back and done the bit. He did with chin, he got hit on the side of the head with a tremendous punch. And he, and he he went out and fought a guy totally wrong. He was you know a big puncher, he was going to take it to in the first round. He should have be been going out there, you know, feed him out for a few rounds, see where he goes. I mean you, you know the according to the Former trainer, you know, the guy dies as the fight goes on. You know, he's, a, he, he's not got great stamina, but we never got to that stage because he went to have a tear up. Did, did you see Freddie Roach on your own stage? No, I was on the um, East Coast. Any news coming back from our Amir getting on? Did you join it? I spoke to, uh, spoke, to, spoke to his dad last night, I spoke to Freddie last night, and they said he's, you know, realized. I think I think what might be, you know, what for me is an interesting thing is that Freddie Roach actually wants to work with him. You know, it's not like um, the kid's got nothing, you know, he's, he's overhyped and all this. He actually can see something there that, uh, that I think that I also see in him. So, uh, you know, he wants to, he wants to um, work with him and he believes that he can go on to, do, uh, go on to become a champion.